In this video, we're going to focus on how we can increase the size of the font, font of the tooltip in Chart.js. As you can see here, these fonts are slightly larger than usual. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to increase the font size of the tooltip in Chart.js. So the first thing what we're going to do is we go to chartjs3.com, getting started. This specific link you can find as well in the description box. So once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code. Let's copy all of this. If you want to understand this code, please watch this video here that explains it all. Just paste it all in there, cut this out, and then I'll put that in here. Save, refresh, there we are. Let's maximize the size of this. And let's say here 80%, save, refresh. So if we have this tooltip here, you can see here, maybe the font size is just a bit too small. We can increase the size of it. To do this, we're going to scroll down into the options here. And then after the skills, there's a comma, I'm going to say a plugins, and I want to pinpoint here the tooltip plugin. Then within the tooltip plugin, we need to specify specifically where we want to increase the font. So uh, the tooltip has many layers of options and I'm going to show you that at the very end of the video, I'm going to give you the other video I recommend you to watch. But right now we only have two layers that we're going to focus on. It's, it's basically the title and then we have here the body itself. So those two layers we're going to focus on, we're going to say a title font and a title font here. Let's give it a font size of 20, for example. If I do this, say refresh. As you can see here now, the font size of the title is huge. So let's do the same here, but then we're gonna do the body font. And in the body font, we can say yes, size as well, 20, save, refresh, and there we are. And now we have them both nicely. So if you enjoyed this, and maybe you want to add a more customized item, so you have to pinpoint all of them, in that case, I'm going to recommend you this video here on how to add more information in the tooltip in Chart.js where we cover every specific item of the tooltip and then of course you can do the font size based on those individual items that, that is being covered on this video here. I highly recommend you to watch this video as well.